morning you guys <laughs> um, I thought I would do a bit of a day in the life thing it is very early and I have on last night's makeup <laughs> don't recommend um, I'm very good these days I normally don't um, wear my makeup to bed but last night I was so tired I just did so normally I would not really want to film myself first thing in the morning but I'm like you know what I got some eyelashes and a little bit of eyebrow still on so <laughs> Let's just do this, right? I'm here with Vegeta. He heard me up, so he's come to get pats and cuddles. So it is five to five in the morning, almost 5 a.m. Um, I don't normally get up this early at the moment, although I used to, and um, go for a run and then go for a walk. Um, I would just run up and down the hallway. <laughs> I don't like running in public, but I haven't done that in so long. I woke up this morning and I was like, all right, if it's early enough, but not too early, I'll get up and just go for a walk. I haven't walked for probably about a week now. Um, I like to go every day um, and I'm sort of out of that habit at the moment. And I was like almost five and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> fuck it <laughs> I'll just get up and go um, and then I'm like oh because it's actually dark so the whole thing is I love going for um, dark walks no one's around you know I used to do it all the time but with summer you guys are not a huge fan of summer I'm really not um, one of the things I hate about it let me try and get some better is that a bit better, it's a bit better. one of the things I don't like about it is daylight savings <laughs> hear me out it just like I really like getting up and it being dark and like and I was just finding no matter how early I was getting up although not this early it just was always light and I'm like going for walks I've got like the sun in my eyes I just don't like it you know <laughs> I feel like um it's not as good for me um for my good habits right so like if it's summer I'm not in as good habits like in winter I'm getting up I'm going for walks I'm going to bed early yeah so that's just how I feel anyway so I'm gonna go for a walk now um, I'm all ready to go in my t-shirt and stuff. It's still very warm. I don't know if you can hear my fan in the background. Um, I've had it on all night. It's so hot. <laughs> um, that wasn't why I didn't sleep though. Cause like, it's been really warm. Maybe it was, it feels a bit warmer tonight than usual. We did have the house open a bit yesterday. Um, we've had it all closed up all week and we moved in a fridge yesterday. So we got a new fridge cause our fridge broke down. Um, so we had the door open and it was like, Oh my God, so hot. Anyway, I'm gonna go for a walk and I'm gonna show you, um, I'm actually gonna go to the beach this morning. I haven't been for a beach walk in a long time um, on my own, like for a big proper walk, you know? Um, because if I go too late, there's, it's just fucking covered in people. And I know I'm just an antisocial bitch and I just like to walk on my own with no people, which is why I love winter. Cause I will literally get up at the crack of dawn so I don't have to see a soul. <laughs> so anyway. Um, there will be people down there today. It's hot, you know, whatever, but that's fine. Um, so I'll take you and I'll show you the sunrise. Um, it's not over the beach. It's the other way, but still, it's lovely. While we're here, I thought I would show you. This is my bedroom altar. And look at this. Look at this beauty right here. Isn't that gorgeous? I bought that um, a little while ago. Um, I don't know, a few months ago, um, for just a little present for myself. I really wanted to start bringing this little spot to life because, um, you know, I've spent a lot of energy on my room and not in the rest of the house um, as much. So um, I started working on this area. I painted these old drawers. I had these as a kid, you guys. Like, um, <laughs> I grew up with these um, and uh, my mum had given them to me a little while ago. So I painted them purple and um, it's my stuff. It's my perfume. This is Be Tempted by DKNY. It just makes me so happy. It's my witchy perfume. Um, so I just, I put that on when I want to feel good, you know. Um, I usually don't go anywhere much um, these days, but yes, I um, think I'll spray some on today. Actually, that'll be nice. And so this is what I've just got happening here at the moment. Um, this is a big canvas. I'm going to paint this and hang this up on the wall, but I've just got it sitting there for like the lightning bolt of inspiration that I hope will come. <laughs> so I know what to paint. Um, I am actually painting something at the moment. Um, I just started this past weekend. It's the first time I've painted in so long. So my son and I were doing some painting together and um, yeah, but that's on a smaller canvas. Anyway, 
Just wanted to show you my amazing light. I'm going to put the link for the Etsy store down below. Um, if you're in Australia, you guys, um, these beautiful Moroccan lanterns, often when you get them, they have um, US plugs. Um, and for you guys that don't know, the, our plugs are actually different. Our outlets are different. Um, and I've found using like an, um, you can get adapters, but when you use adapters, it tends to, oh, I just, I really don't like it. It gets a bit sparky and funny. Like it makes sounds and I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. If you're in Australia, you probably do. Um, I don't like using adapters, so I really, really wanted one with an Australian plug, and these guys have them, even though they are actually from Turkey. So that's super cool, and they have all different colours, um, and I got this beautiful rainbow one, and I love it so, so much. Look at that. When we get in closer, you can actually, like, see it really well. It's so pretty, and it lets off the most beautiful light. I absolutely love it. Mood lighting, very important. Secret to my success. I love you. It's all fuzzy. Where's your face? Hey. Oh, look, he just wants... He wants cuddles. He wants cuddles, doesn't he? I want a cuddle. Yeah, I love you. My kitty cat. He wants cuddles, but he also wants breakfast. <laughs> Dude, where's my breakfast? You're not eating for several hours yet. Not yet. This is what's on my nightstand. I always have my water next to me. I've got some hand cream. I've got some blue kyanite. Of course, my beautiful salt lamp. Always have to have a salt lamp. Um, got some lovely art back there. Look at that, gorgeous. A perfume. I oh, know that's just kind of dumped there, to be honest. <laughs> um, and then these are for the curtains. Although, um, because it is summer, I actually covered the curtains with like builder's foil. So. It's just dark when I open them, so I don't really open them at the moment. Um, this is what I've got on my bedside table in terms of books. I just finished reading this. Um, you guys, I'm a big closet, what's the word, paranormal romance slash erotica, okay, lover. Um, <clears throat> we all just, you know, we like what it like. Um, so I just finished this one. It was pretty good. Um, nothing I'd write to home about, but um, yeah, I enjoyed it. So Blood Hunt, um, that's a whole series, um, as these things normally are. Then I've got Memory and Dream by Charles DeLint. Charles DeLint is one of my favorite authors, you guys. Oh my God. He's urban fantasy. Um, that's what the genre is. Um, and this one is, oh, I'm dropping things. This one is about, um, an artist who paints things that like everything he paints comes to life and it's just, oh, it's just everything he writes is amazing. <laughs> um, it's really, really good. So I would call this more like it's adult fantasy, like it's, um, and not in terms of erotica, <laughs> but, um, it's much more mature, you know, um, it's really, really good. So anything by Charles de Lint, um, I mean, I've read only probably three or four of his works, I think so far, but, um, absolutely love him. I haven't read him for a long time though. And the other day, cause I really wanted to get back into my art again. Um, I pulled him out cause this, I just found so inspiring when I read it the first time. And then I have the book of magic by Alice Hoffman. I love this series. Okay. I love all the characters. Um, where am I up to? Not quite halfway. You can see there. I love this world as well. And, um, this is going to be the final book. So, I always get, I talked about this the other day, um, I always get magical inspiration and there's little um, formulas and different little things that she includes in this book that I've actually included in my own practice. So because I just finished this book, it shouldn't actually be here anymore. Ugh. And it's only on the bottom because it's the bigger book. And look at my crap. I've actually got a sleeping um, like divination powder here as well, which has fallen over. Look, I'm just going to move these because who needs these here? If I'm not, let's just put them in the drawer, right? There we go. And a piece of selenite to help me sleep, <laughs> which it didn't do shit last night. Obviously it needs a good cleanse. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm going for a walk now. All right, you guys, we're here. I don't know if you can hear me okay because it's super... Ugh. There's lightning. It's super windy, but there is lightning happening off into the sea, and it's amazing. Did you see that? I hope you did. <laughs> it's hot as balls, you guys. It's so hot. Oh my god. But there is a nice breeze down here, and there are men actually down here. Well, at least one of them is a man that I saw I'm emptying the rubbish bins at the moment. So let me see. He's off. Where is he? There with his yellow lights. 
emptying all the bins. God bless him. I just want to see if I can get a shot of the light. Oh, there's lightning over there. <laughs> I'm actually looking at it and not the camera. It's lovely. It always makes me quite nervous walking on the beach <laughs> when there's a storm rolling in. That was a good one. Okay, we are here at the end of the beach. There is a horde of seagulls here. <laughs> so I don't know if the camera is going to pick them up at all. I don't think so. There's a pier over there. And that beautiful lightning is still happening. There was a really good one a second ago. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> I missed it. Anyway, the sky is absolutely gorgeous. It's a lot more blue than it's showing up on my screen. But, oh, look at that. It's such a mood, right? The funniest thing happened, you guys. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, I have to tell you. All right, I'm gonna start walking. So, I saw this like shadow down kind of in the water. And I'm like, oh my God, it might be a seal, right? We actually have had seals come up on this beach before. Amazing. I haven't seen them, but I saw like pictures of other people or whatever. I'm like, oh my God, it might be a seal. So I'm like, I was gonna get my camera out and show you guys <laughs> and like film, right? <clears throat> and then I'm getting a bit closer and I'm like, mm, what if it's not, like maybe it's not a seal. Like there's definitely two, right? But is it two seals? And I gotta show you out to sea again, that was amazing. Um, I keep saying that, you've probably not seen any lightning at all. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. I swear to God, it's there. Anyway, so <laughs> I get closer and I'm like, oh, it's people. I'm so glad I didn't pull out my camera. Pretty sure they were getting some nookie nookie in the ocean, you know what I mean? And look, no judgment. I'm all for that, actually. We've all done it, haven't we? Um, <laughs> if the opportunity is available to us. And as I said, it's hot as hell out here at the moment. So, and being young, right? Like, I mean, I don't know how old they were. They looked young from, you know, what I could vaguely see of them. But I mean, my husband and I, like, when we were just dating, oh. Like we were teenagers at the time and like we had to like sneak around everywhere and like try and find places to be together and like we both grew up around Christians <laughs> so it was a lot harder. So I always deeply sympathize with that plight and perhaps they weren't. Perhaps they were just being romantic and whatever, you know. But anyway, I walked off, like, you know, I kept walking obviously, like I didn't stop and look at them. but. <laughs> I'm walking away and um, once I was a fair bit off, I hear these dogs start barking. And these poor people, these dogs, like, so I'm walking, their dogs has come across them. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I hope they were done. <laughs> anyway, it's amazing. Well, you can see some seagulls. I can see that you can see them a little bit there. Look at this, it's so beautiful. I'm so glad, yes, you saw that one. I'm so glad. Oh, that I got up this morning. I'm going home now um, and I'm going to be spending some time at my altar. That's what I always do in the morning and after a walk. All right, we are home. Um, we are sitting down at the altar right now. I have two kitty cats, which I don't think you can see at all. <laughs> They're both hunting me. They're like, you're awake. That means we get breakfast. Not yet. Um, it's just after 6.30. I have just done my water offering. You can hear August. She's scratching the chair. I let her scratch the chair in here. It's like old and, you know, whatever. I know she needs to flex her claws. Um, so I've just done my offering. I've got one water here. And then the other one up there at the ancestral altar. Um, I'm just going to spend a little bit of time now. I'm going to read my today's installment of Daily Magic by Judica Isles. Um, and then pull a card. You can't really see much, can you? All right, that helped a little bit. I turned on my salt lamp um, on my desk. So at the moment um, for my daily draw... I just pulled this out again. This is, oh gosh, I can't remember what it's called now. The Fairies Oracle, I guess, by Brian Froud. This was actually my very first deck. Um, it's kind of a funny story, actually. Um, <laughs> I wanted to get a tarot deck and a, f a beautiful friend of mine at the time, um, she was like, oh no, don't do tarot. Like, tarot is evil. But what is good is this fairy deck, this oracle. 
this is this is a good one you should get this and I was like oh okay all right I'll get that so I did um and I don't know if any of you have worked with this deck but it's like you know it's not much of an intuitive deck you know what I mean like it's difficult to read intuitively you've got all these different characters and it's like what is going on so um whoop, it takes a while to kind of get your head around the deck anyway I haven't pulled it out for years and years and years but as you guys know I'm doing a depth year this year and someone was talking about it the other day on a video um oh god I can't remember who it was now and I was like oh I have that deck and I pulled it out again and um the first card was just like fucking amazing and it was really interesting to like have the contrast you know of like before I when I was using it last I wasn't really up with my tarot and oracle very much um even though I'd used it over several years it's still you know I didn't fully wasn't really in the system or whatever, you know. Um, but now it's interesting having the scope and like even reading the guidebook, I can apply it to my life so much better than I could back then. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway, I've got the fairies oracle or whatever it's called. Um, ancestors and angels oracle. This is like, I love this deck so much. Um, it's just awesome. Um, I have mentioned this in another video. I'm not super into angels personally. I never really, even when I was a Christian, I don't know. I just wasn't something I really connected with, but I'll fix that later. Um, but I just love this deck so much. And then I have, I think it's the Revelations Tarot here, which is one that I'm just learning and getting to know. It's really cool. It's, um, you can do reversals on it really well, so that's that's reversed and then, you know, the right way up or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so I am going to pull a card. I've got my um, offering done. I'm going to read some book and I'm going to choose some incense. Let's go over here. See a cute little kitty cat. Excuse me. Hello. Hello, beautiful girl. And over here is where I keep my incense. And actually, you know what I want? I want sandalwood. I've been burning that one lately. And oh my god, it's just so, so, so good. So, sandal, sandal. This is what we're doing. So, I'm going to um, spend a little time now just kind of connecting and being in this space and cooling down. I'm so hot, you guys, after that walk. Oh my goodness. It's so hot at the moment. Um, I feel really, really lucky though. We have air conditioning. There's a kitty. Um, we have air conditioning and um, we can actually afford to run it <laughs> um, because in our last house we had this really old air conditioner that we could have run, you know, I guess all the time, but um, yeah, we just couldn't afford to at the time. So I feel feeling very blessed and very grateful that we're actually able to have a cooler house. It's so hot, you guys. Oh my God summer has finally truly landed we've been really lucky this year where it's been like hot but then cooled down so you can you know air out the house open things up or at night time it's kind of cooler and you know but not this past week it's just consistently hot so hot and it rained on me on the way home which was really nice um but now that means it's going to be extra humid today <laughs> so anyway I'm going to do this, um, I'm going to spend some time here, and then I'm going to get to work. So we'll talk about that. That's where I go sit over here. Um, well, actually, first I've got to go feed the cats and then water the plants. Not all the plants will get water the way it's rained, plus it hasn't rained that much. And then get to work. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'll see you soon. She's so soft and lovely, guys. I love her. Look how cute she is. Look how cute she is. She's seeing my hair move. Gonna catch my hair. Fair enough. I'd rather you didn't anyway. Oh, there's Vegeta. Can you hear him? He's like, give me breakfast, bitch. Hello. It is amazing out here now. It's raining and it's actually really nice. There's some thunder. I don't know if you caught that. Um, I'm just in my backyard. Normally I water my plants now. Jug. Um, most of them are getting lovely and watered by the rain though, finally, which is great. There's um, something I want to show you though. There is a plant over here. Let me show you. Oh, you can see all the gross part of my yard. You want to see my yard? This is what we got happening right now. Sorry. 
So we've got, my son has an archery set. So this is his target. <laughs> we just um, paint it up and, you know, sort of do that so you can shoot it or whatever. Um, got some pots and different things I've got to clean up and some lovely um, candle holders. Oh my goodness, there's the wind. Um, some plants over here. Cute little fern. I just got that one recently. Um, this is the side. I want to do like a big painting here or something. So this used to be a backyard and now there is a giant wall there. That's my brother and sister-in-law's um, garage. Got a few plants down there. Little patch of grass, my purple fence. Isn't it amazing? A few plants, we just put up those on there. I love them. So I want to cover the whole thing in plants. A lovely lavender. And this is what I want to show you, hopefully without getting my phone too wet. I just got a juniper. <gasps> I'm so excited. So this is what I wanted to come in water. Um, they like a lot of water, apparently. So I'm going to just give him some extra water in there. Oh, yes. This one's not too happy. I really got to plant this one somewhere. I'm not sure where. Other little plants. A cute little fence. Look at that. We've got some signs up here because for some reason the postmen keep coming in this gate and leaving packages for my brother and sister-in-law at our back door here. Anyway, this is the back. We've got the outdoor couch inside currently. So this is why there's a big gap here. <laughs> but the cats are really enjoying it. We bought it inside for Christmas so we have some extra seating. Um, anyway, it's amazing out here. You can kind of see a tree. Look, we sort of have a tree. We are now at my front door and I have this beautiful ivy now, which I'm super excited about. So we went and picked up these plants and there's guys across the street fixing a fence. <laughs> um, we went to these, um, a friend's house and she was selling her house and they were going to tear it all down. But there was this gorgeous garden there and she's like, come in and take whatever plants you want. Um, so look at this. She even had blue bottles in there. And I don't know if you guys know, but there's a whole folklore about blue bottles um, being really good for protection. I've got a bamboo there that came from them as well. Um, so all of these plants are fine. There's a little jasmine there. I'm just going to dip here so you don't see my car rego. But I've got a little rose down here that always needs just a little extra. It's actually getting some rain in there today, which is good. Normally it doesn't. This is what I have at the front. There's a beautiful rosemary there. See my husband's terribly messy office. <laughs> um, we have kayaks here as well because we've been kayaking lately. I mean, I haven't, but the boys have. <gasps> There's the thunder. What's up, you guys? I feel like I need to um, update my makeup for this vlog. We're looking a little, a little worse for wear. Um, I am starting work now. Um, it's 8.30, <laughs> so I've been doing a bunch of other stuff. Um, but my internet, ugh, I wanted to get on here and complain for a moment. My internet's going so slow today. It was really slow yesterday too. It just drives me absolutely crazy. I'm at the other end from our little, I don't know what you call it, our little Wi-Fi exchange situation. Um, and we've actually got a brick wall that runs through the house. So there is like a gap over the uh, hallway, but there's a brick wall that goes through there. So sometimes it messes with my internet. Oh my god, my arm's so sore. I cannot wait to get the selfie stick, I tell you what. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's just being so slow, so it's going to fuck with my work today. Um, I'm on and off the internet all day, um, jumping in and out and doing whatever, so I might have to um, change my plan a little bit and do some stuff that's more off the internet, um, because literally it's taking about a minute to load every single page, like each thing I want, which doesn't sound like a lot, but... When it normally takes a few seconds, if that, <laughs> depending on how good your internet is, right? Um, it's a bit of a problem. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. So um, I've decided I'm just going to make this like a morning vlog. I'm like super duper tired today. My internet's being slow and annoying. I've got like a bunch of other weird stuff to do today. Like I've got to... Um, unpack our old fridge and throw out all of the food that went off and um, install the new fridge and stuff. So I've got bits and pieces to do around the house. It's not really like a typical day. Um, so we'll do, we'll do another one of these if you guys enjoy it. Um, you know, 
further down the line of what I actually kind of other stuff that I do in the day but this was a good show of what I kind of get up to in the mornings um, and it was fun to take you guys along with me so let me know if you have any questions about anything um, I haven't really thought of like a I don't know a good way to end this but um yeah I hope you enjoyed this um, I loved having you along with me and we'll do it again sometime it was good fun all right, I'm wishing you all so much love and many, many blessings. And hopefully by the next time I do this, I will have a selfie stick so I can reach out and my arm doesn't get so sore. Oh my God. All right. I love you. Bye.